welcome back. We're going to get that floor put on the trailer here in just a second, cut the walls, and possibly even get them up. Thanks for joining me this week, and uh, I'm issuing a challenge to all you guys. If you guys are using my videos to help you build your camper, why don't you take a few pictures, maybe a couple short videos as you're building along, submit them to me. I'll give you the information as the build progresses on where to send that information, and possibly we can put a collage together and throw it all on the channel so we can showcase your build. Let's get started. Okay, so I just got back from the hardware store and picked up the bolts that I'm going to use for the trailer. So the bolts I'm going to use are 3 8 carriage bolts with a pronged washer on top, a flat washer on the bottom, and nylock uh, nut on the bottom. So here's the setup. Bring it up close so you guys can see. What the pronged washer does is keep this from spinning in the wood. And then obviously the flat washers that disperse the weight evenly. And then the nylock uh, nut is so I don't have to buy lock, wa uh, lock washers and such. So these stuff don't come off. Okay, so I'm going to clear all this stuff off. We're going to transfer it back over to the trailer. And... Uh, from there, we'll, I'll show you how I mark for the holes. This is a rear, that's the front. So we're going to pull it that way, flip the rear end over, and lay it down, and then slide it onto the trailer. It'd be much easier with two people, but I don't have that luxury today. where it needs to be. So now I'm going to grab a drill bit, a small drill bit, and I'm going to lay underneath and drill up through. There should be one here, one here, and one back here. Same on the other side, and then we'll go from there. of the holes dug. Now I've got a uh, one inch paddle bit. The goal with this is to countersink the lag bolts or the carriage bolts.
and take a three inch drill bit. Put it in the drill. And now that we have the room to countersink the carriage bolts, we can take and run our three eighths hole all the way through. If you've done everything right, it'll line up with your bracket. what you're looking for. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to measure from this side to this side. take a circular saw and cut it. You don't have to be perfect because what you can do if it's not perfect is you can take your router with the bottom bearing flush trim bit and uh, use it when it's mounted to the trailer.
There we go. We'll take and transfer that back to there. But before I do that, I want to take a pencil. We know there's a stud in the front and the back. We're going to mark here on the side where the other ones are, right in the center. You want to mark the back ones in the center, and that's fine too, and the front one. Might as well get that dust off. And I think I want this side up. Now what I'm going to do, the factory edge is on that side, so I'm going to line that up perfectly with that side. you made on the side you'd be able to find your studs to attach to. Make sure that this doesn't overlap the 2x4 here otherwise it'll jack your wall out <clears throat> when you put your wall on. So a way you can do that set that up there and just make sure that it sits nice and flush on the 2x4 and, the, and that the plywood doesn't mess with it. If it does does mess with it you just take your router and trim off what little what little area you'll have whatever overhang or obstructions in your way screws, exterior construction screws. Be sure that everything is right in the world, and it is. some screws. Because you marked on the sides, you'll know where your your cross studs are. You could even, here I'll show you. Line up the edge 
inch with the mark that you made. And now you know where your screws go. Okay, all I did was lay this down flat. I thought I hit the record button, but if it wasn't thorough enough, I laid this down. You can, if you're not perfectly flat, you can route it with your router, bottom bearing bit. And then, all I did based on the marks that we marked on the side, was took a square, put them on the mark so I knew where the, the screw Okay, let me show you what I've done here. Yeah, it's a little cold this morning, so I got the heat running. Okay, I took some of my, because you know, I want a different shape on this one, I think. I can always revert back to what I know, but I want to try something a little different. What I did was took some scrap pieces of uh, Luan that I have and put them together in the center. You'll see, I just took a little piece. These are glued and I clamped them overnight. Yes, it's the next morning, but I think this was worth the wait. So if you flip that over, just a nice long piece, straight edge on the bottom. What I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna twist and contort them to the new shape that I want. So I just thought I'd show you what I made before we continue. You can see what I've done here. I just took some brad nails until I got the shape I wanted. This is the shape I'm kind of going for. So I've never done that shape. So I'm gonna try it. So this is what I have. Just took some brad nails and that strip. Took the brad nails and the strip, and some clamps, and just made the shape that I want. Now, I'm gonna trace it. And you can always tweak this. If you don't like it, you want more of a curve, you just undo the one clamp and push it, and manipulate it until it's the way you want it. I apologize in advance for the heat running. It's cold this morning. other side so I can hold everything still. Ah. Pushing down to make sure it doesn't move. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and see if I like it. Let me show you. I do like it. Sorry about all the moving around, taking out the tripod here. It's got pretty much the shape I wanted. 14 inches on the top, 
for something for the fan. So now we can pull the nails. I think I'm going to go with this. I know it's real hard to see, but I kind of like this shape, so I think I'm going to roll with it. If you already have your door, I highly recommend that you go ahead and lay it down on top of the walls, trace it out, and cut it now. It's a lot easier to do on a, on a bench than it is when the walls are up. My problem is, is I didn't have a door at this time, or at that time, so I had to do what I had to do, which is fine. As you can see, it worked out just fine, but just some advice for you. Here we go, we're rolling. Let's cut these walls. Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook. Facebook's live, YouTube's for the video. Again, a little sketchy, but we're going to sand, sand it down anyhow, so not a big deal. Different shape, so this ought to be interesting. Give myself a, a little challenge this time. I'm move this up to the front. I'm going to put two screws so I can look, maybe three. 